Good morning. Good morning. You are in the spotlight again. I, know, I don't me, love this. Let me join you for half a second. Aww. Uh yeah, it's fun. Uh anyway, good morning. We are, well, we're still at sea. Let's see. We are heading toward Bonaire Bonaire. today. I'm so excited. It's Bonaire. It's one of your top two non-Alaskan destinations. Beautiful. I do recommend the first time you go, do like an island tour. This is and true. And if you have time, go to Klein and snorkel because it's really yeah. nice. So if you saw when we were here a few months ago, we took an island tour and then we went to Klein and snorkeled because it's nice. Uh, today we decided we're going back to Klein to snorkel because it's nice. So we didn't have too much time last time. That's true. We spent about an hour over at Klein last time, yeah. but today, well, we get in at one. Mm -hmm. We're going to hop on the Kariba Water Sports uh, Water Taxi. I was just going to say shuttle. Water Taxi again today yeah. and roll back over to Klein Bon Air. For some snorkeling. And we'll stay over there till, I don't know, we'll see, but at least more than an hour. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> but first, let me get a breakfast. Let me take a selfie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? We're yes. rolling to the buffet. I'm very thirsty. All right. I'm dehydrated. Bye. Dehydrated. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, we've come back into Club Fusion. Dee is gonna hit up a little bit of Zumba to stretch those muscles out this morning. I'll watch her for a little bit and then I might actually go run and do some other stuff. Why in the world is she trying to torture herself so? I'm not exactly sure. She's a maniac. That is more than enough Zumba excitement this morning. I'm gonna head off to flex my own muscles, my brain muscle. There's a speed Sudoku challenge that I have to check out. There was a lot of music happening back there, but anyway, I've snuck off to the Explorer's Lounge by myself for speed Sudoku. There's also morning trivia in here right after, and then we've got another pop choir rehearsal. And then it's probably gonna be time to grab lunch and think about getting off the ship after that, so not bad. We're going to be uh, docking a little earlier than uh Schedule. We were scheduled uh, for one o'clock, and uh, I'm quite sure that the uh, will be uh, quite ready with the gangways at 12 noon, if not earlier than that. Well, it's Brian this morning, and he actually just ran out of copies of the Speed Sudoku, so he's gone off to make some more. Um, you never knew Sudoku was that popular, did you? I don't know if I'm too much for speed Sudoku, but I'll, I'm just here, you know, for slow Sudoku. It's fun. All right, Sudoku players, are you all ready? Three. Two, one, start! Oh, um, mine already has some answers on it. Hmm, there we go. Now I've got a blank one. <laughs> I think that was his, some of his work this morning that he accidentally gave me. Well, I did not win Speed Sudoku. We did not win the trivia, but we're off to pop choir rehearsal. So we'll see y'all on the other side. Pop choir. Wow, we just got done with pop choir rehearsal. It's about, what, 10 till noon or something? Uh, yeah, Pushing exactly. noon. Uh, but we're supposed to be arriving possibly at noon instead of 1 p.m., which is cool. We're going to go change to the beach, get some lunch, mm -hmm. and then go to one here. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Updates. We have. All right, bye, y'all. All right, we are in beach mode, ready to go over to Klein Bonaire, because as you may remember, last time we were here, if you missed our first video, Bonaire does not have a ton of sandy beaches. Mm -hmm. And really the easiest way to get one is to hop a water taxi over to Klein Bonaire, which means little Bonaire. <laughs> uh, and we uh, have uh, Kariba Water Sports that mm -hmm. will take us over there. We love it. They sell like beverages and stuff, refreshments on the thing. They have snorkeling equipment for rent, full service. And you can Six buy the seconds. tickets right in that row of tents off the ship. We'll show you, we'll show you everything. Or you can, I think you can just go to... You the, can. What's the bar called? Carl's. Carl's. It's K-A-R-E-L. But yeah. I think it's Carl's Beach Bar. You can just go straight there. You can. And get on the, the water taxi and buy your tickets that way too. True. So, so, either way. So many options. And it's in every hour? I think every hour. Every hour. After well, check the schedule, but they normally leave quarter after the hour from this side. They make a stop at Eden Beach, and then they stop at No Name Beach over on Klein Bonaire, and then come back. So three yeah. stops. But anyway, right. we're going to get some lunch, and we're going to go to the beach. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so we are wandering over here now to the Salty Dog. Well, we've got a massive amount of glare there, but burgers, tacos, fries, chicken, hot dogs. Nice. 
So Dee got a princess classic with fries. I got the triple smoked, which has chili barbecue sauce. I guess this is a, probably a provolone and some cheese fries. So there you go, quick and easy. Now for a quick fill up on the ice. All right, well, we came down to deck five to chill out and wait a while, and they pointed us into the dining room to come sit. So I think they're forming like an embarkation line here in the dining room. Well, there we go. Oh, no, we're just passing through, I think. Hello again, Bon Air. Wow, the captain just made an announcement while we were in the dining room that we almost didn't make Bon Air today because it was too windy to dock. They said with the tugboat we just barely got to dock, so we almost missed Bon Air. That's no, actually didn't. that's actually the reason we booked this cruise was because of Bon Air. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, onward. That happens. So what is just ahead of one o'clock? We're gonna see if we can make it over for the 115 water taxi. I think we will be in good shape. Out. That sounds correct. So we're gonna come up the stairs, hang a left, and go by all those lovely tents where you can buy your tickets and tours. So we made it to the row of vendors here, and they're always in kind of a different order. You never know. There is the Carib booth right there. All right, 115, right? Excellent, that is our plan for the day. Yeah, so super easy to find. We'll just wander down to Carl's. There's an Oceana ship there. Oh, I remember our cannons that protect us while we're here in Bonaire. There's that cute little market area that we shopped at last time. A lot of fun stuff over there. But we are hustling today. Yes, I spy with my little eye a bright yellow sign that says water taxi to the beach. Water taxi. All right. Yep, here's the little booth where you can buy your tickets here at Carl's Beach Bar. And of course it says tickets on board. Well, we got 10 or 15 minutes to kill. We made it in plenty of time. So the Oceana Riviera is in with us, if that is the correct pronunciation. And look at that crown princess down there. You can just dive in and do some snorkeling right here. Maybe not too advice, but I don't know. Nice and blue though. Are you ready for some fish finding? Yes. I'm ready for a relaxing day of floating and spinning. It was crazy when the announcement came on. I wasn't recording, but this morning and the captain said that we almost missed on air. You know, we we would we freaked out just a little bit. We were like, oh no, but I think he said what the tugboat just barely was able to get us in here to where we could dock. It doesn't feel that windy now, but I'm sure when you have a huge vessel and the wind blows, it makes it difficult. But we are excited to be back in Bonaire. What am I looking at? It's windy, look. Oh <laughs> are you windy? Our chariot awaits. Now, we are the first ones over here from our ship. Well, because we're fast walkers. I didn't want to miss it, though. You didn't have a long way to go, otherwise you have to wait till 2. That's true. I wouldn't want to wait till 2.15, so I'm glad we made it for 1.15. And we are all loaded up, ready to roll. Excited for some climb. pretty and blue the water is. I was just like, look at the water! And then this just started happening with her legs. So I'm not I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Happy feet. Happy yeah. feet. <laughs> happy. Well, they're really wow. from hiking, so yeah. Happy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got all stocked up on water here on board. We are good for the day. We are not going to dehydrate today. We bought five bottles. 
two for me, two for D, and one to drink on the ride over. So that's right. Got to stay hydrated. again. Made it no, to Klein. You didn't bring your camera? That's all right. Photos by Jay today. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's take one beautiful pan right here, including that magnificent yellow water taxi. So definitely windy over here. Yeah, this camera can handle the audio, but the GoPro, uh, it'll be okay. I lost a lot of uh, uh, clips last time due to the audio <laughs> being too windy. All right, we are gonna get in full on water mode. I gotta get my sunglasses on, my sunscreen on, and then we will go with poor windy GoPros. But anyway, we're gonna spend, well, let's see, we're probably gonna take the 445 back. So we have, well, what, almost a good three hours over here this time. That's a lot of fish finding, I know, we'll see. If you run out of fish, you might take the 345 back, who knows? Anyway, water mode. We are so far south that the water is actually not cold refreshing, it's like legit refreshing. Well, Dee has just barely hit the water and she says she's already seeing fish. So she really did have good luck right here in this drop off zone last time without having to go do the drift snorkel. Well, and she's gone. Bye, Mermaid D. So you know what time it is. Time for me to eat a little bit of Bon Air water. As we do a semi windy Klein Bonarian spin. See, just right out here by the drop-off. That's so funny. I mean, you don't have to go do the drift snorkel. I know the drifting is a thing that's, you know, sort of unique to this area. I mean, I'm sure there's lots of opportunities all over the world to drift and snorkel. But, you know, when you're in Bonaire, it's a unique opportunity to be able to do where you don't really have to swim. You just kind of float. Well, I see. We just had some folks loading up in those white, uh, I don't know if they call those Zodiacs, whatever those kind of little boats are called. And they've taken them back out to the pirate ship. So they had come up to this beach as part of some kind of pirate excursion. Nice. We also noticed it looked like the ship was offering an excursion to come over to Clyde Bonaire. I don't remember seeing when we were here on the Sunshine, the Carnival Sunshine. I don't think they had a Klein Bonaire excursion, but Princess did have one. So I'm expecting here in a little while of probably something to come over with, I don't know, 30, 40 people on it and come over and just wreck our beach. You know what I mean? That's cool to see it as an excursion that you could book through the ship, but water taxi is super easy, super affordable, and they're so nice. Just do it. Karib. And we got like some kite surfing going on. Look at all this action. There's a pirate ship, a little motorboat going by, some kite surfing, and D out by a reddish orange buoy. That is a lot of excitement all in one clip. Wow. We got some wind and some waves today, but what are you seeing out there? Everything. Like 
biggies. Oh, you saw more biggies. Like, they're maybe not quite as big as biggies. Uh, well, they're pretty big. So they're medium-y. I mean, Me medium I yeah, yeah, I know. I'm uh, trying to cover the microphone with my hand, which is maybe not a good plan, but hey. It's so, so nice. Yeah, and you don't even you have to do the draft. Everything. It's so hilarious. This yeah. is much better than last time. Yeah. Yeah, like the clarity of the water. Well, see, last time you had, were just getting to introduce yourself to the fish upon air. Now they were actually expecting us. They've been watching. They've been watching the live streams. They knew we were coming. That's it. I think I saw they tuned in to the one we did sailing away from Grenada. They're like, oh, they're on their way. <laughs> so good stuff. The current is really strong, <laughs> says the snorkel lady. Well, I was over there and then I'm over here. Yeah, that's how that works. It's like you go swim, 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 swim. If I could focus more on like actually swimming, I'm trying to record that. So. Oh, but you have to get all that footage. Oh, there's a lot of people. Uh, yeah. Oh, this could be like a ship excursion coming in now. Yeah, whenever you see a vessel packed, with, packed with about 40 or 50 people, they're probably from the ship. Why are you cackling uncontrollably? Oh, well, that's true. I just let myself float. I'm like, huh? Yeah. Why? Why are you snorkeling in makeup? Oh my goodness. That you had to look good for. Here comes the onslaught. Just look at how packed in and uncomfortable those folks look on that excursion. You know, I'm just saying I enjoyed our very pleasant personal experience in getting over here. Throwing shade. I'm in a shade throwing mood today. That's right. I throw all the shade. Actually, however you get here, just come here. It's gorgeous. It's Whatever way you feel like you want to get here, do it. But it's easier and less crowded one. That's right. <laughs> throwing shade. What'd you say? <laughs> Alright, I'm towing D down the beach so that we can actually get down here. And let her do a little fake drift snorkel. I'm trying to get down here to this little dark zone. Then we're gonna put her out to sea and let her float. So we have made it down to the weird brown rocky area. And now the plan is that she can get right out to that drop off and she can just pretty much not even have to swim. You can kind of just float your way right back down the drop off. So yeah. Uh, Dee's gonna get a little bit of uh, probably really decent snorkeling, decent snorkeling footage. see a lot more. It's very deep at the drop off though. So if you're not, there's all kinds of fish just swimming around you right here too. Yeah, apparently I'm just surrounded by fish. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty though. Like so nice. I don't know what happened, but she started making talking to fish noises and uh, all right, well, there she goes. <laughs>
we've been doing since the last time we were in Bonaire. Good stuff, I hope. We'll just sit here and have a little chat while Dee looks at fish. Enjoying this cruise overall. It's very relaxing. We've been getting into all the extra weird special activities like steel drums and pop choir and the boys and some fun new games. Food has been real good, especially, I say buffet breakfast, dining room dinner. I don't know about lunch. The hamburgers today were actually really good. They almost were like meatloaf on a bun. The gentleman behind me said he didn't really care for some spice that was on the hamburgers, but he liked the hot dogs. But it was kind of like, if you like sort of a meatloafy burger, they've done a little bit extra to it where it doesn't really feel too much like a burger. Anymore. You know, it was tasty. Look at all these cool shallow water coral structures. Oh my gosh, it's like there's so like every time you're like, oh, there's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is cool. This is very accessible type snorkeling. I mean, this is this not is a, yeah. not deep water down here. Uh, the 215 shuttle from land has arrived over here from Carib. That's the one that's uh, 245 for us. So we're definitely not taking that one. We're either going to take the uh, 345 or the 445, and the 445 is the last option today. Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update on something. So if you're not a professional snorkeler, or even a beginner snorkeler, that's okay. I just wanted to show you on Climb On Air, I'm literally sitting in the water right here at where it's towards the end before you go up and it's rocky over there. But this is my view underwater currently. So you can literally sit on the sand and snorkel and, and see all the stuff and things. And this is just amazing. I can't even focus because <laughs> there's too much to look at. You can actually sit from the top of the coral uh, reef. Hang on just a second, I'll show you. When the water moves, you can see it. You guys see it? It's amazing. Just don't touch it because that's not good for the coral. And try and use reef safe sunscreen as well if you can to preserve it. What in the world? I can see Dee down there looking like she's doing some vlogging. She's like talking into the camera. Now she's getting her gear back on. What do y'all think she's talking about down there? Well, by the time you hear this part, you might have already heard what she's talking about down there. I see. She's decided to get out of the water and walk down here. She was drifting pretty far. I decided I would stop following her because every time I follow her, I think she would be more comfortable. We would be halfway around the other side of the island. So I was like, hmm, I got to stop following her so she will realize how far away she is and come back. And it looks like it worked because here she comes. You better watch where you're going out there. I look up and you're like two miles down the beach. <laughs> so far away. <laughs> Oh, mercy. Here. Oh, good. I can't focus. I think I told you guys that. I don't know. On my camera footage. But like, oh. Just because every time I like see it, I'm like, there's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. There's so many. You have, have like phrase, snorkeling. Yeah. It's true. You have snorkeling ADD. You just keep oh, bouncing yeah. around. So, best oh, snorkeling, you think? For sure. That I've ever done, currently. Yeah. Oh, man. Hawaii is really good. Well, that's true. We haven't been there yet. But, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I haven't seen anything really large, but that's, that's a I saw some big fish uh, well, come by. Fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 3.07 and I'm already like dreading leaving it before 4.45. Well, I mean, we got time. You're, you're only about halfway through your time here if you're staying until 4.45. We're slowly making our way back up to possibly get a bottle of water, maybe reapply some sunscreen, change some batteries. But we're passing by this huge, huge coral place here again. I don't know. I think Dee said she did look at it earlier, but she wasn't entirely positive. But this is probably the single largest corally area that I've seen outside of, you know, the drift zone. 